RNA molecules are made of single strands of nucleotides. RNA strands fold in on themselves, forming hydrogen bonds between nitrogenous bases and between bases in surrounding water. These bonds cause RNA molecules to form different shapes. Different sequences of bases equal different shapes. Hydrogen bonds form between bases in a predictable pattern. A nucleotide with an adenine base, A, will hydrogen bond with a nucleotide with a uracil base, U, A and U. A nucleotide with a guanine base, G, bonds with a nucleotide with a cytosine base, C, C and G. In early life, RNA played many roles that have now been taken over by more specific molecules. RNA's role is still essential, but more limited than it once was. Think back to last chapter and fill in the molecules which control these functions now. Catalyzing reactions is now proteins. Storing energy is now ATP. Storing genetic information, DNA. DNA is double-stranded. It usually forms one shape, the double helix. Pair bonding between nucleotides still occurs, but in DNA it is between guanine, G, and cytosine, C, and between adenine, A, and thymine, T. Instead of nucleotides being attracted to other bases in the same strand, to create shapes they bond to complementary nucleotides in a second strand to create the double-stranded helix. This makes DNA a better archive for genetic information since the bases are on the inside of the helix protected. Thymine is also more stable than uracil, but it also means that DNA can't directly work in the cell. It is a library of information, but the only way the information can be used is via RNA. RNA is chemically active in the cell. DNA is not. So DNA is more useful and stable as an archive while RNA is more useful working in the cells. RNA carries genetic information from DNA to where it can be used. DNA is maintained in a safe environment to maintain the integrity of the genetic code. RNA is used throughout the cell to implement the genetic code that is stored within DNA. RNA strands are shorter and less durable than DNA strands, but they are critical to communicate the instructions of the DNA code to the cell where they can be executed. Without RNA, the information stored in DNA could not be used, and without DNA, the information would not be as stable.